Hello everybody, this is the 20th lecture of our course Computing, Ethics and Society. In this lecture we're gonna continue in chapter 7 Evaluating and Controlling Technology and we're gonna discuss just the topic of digital divide. First of all, let's take an overview of the trends in computer access. In this regard, there are many issues regarding cost, time, uh, ease of use, government support, etc. First, regarding the cost, new technologies only available to the wealthy. For example, rich people or rich countries can get the new technologies before others. Second point, the time it takes for new technology to make its way into common use is decreasing. For example, in the past, a new technology needed some years to be available to all countries. But nowadays, the time is decreased. For example, the first and second generation of iPhone was first introduced in uh, the US and some few countries but two to three years later it become available everywhere the third point is regarding the ease of use so the cost is not the only factor is ease of use plays a role another issue is the entrepreneurship entrepreneurs provide lowest cost options for people who cannot otherwise afford something. Moreover, the government support is an important factor. Government funds technology in universities, schools, institutions, etc. Last thing, as technology becomes more prevalent, the issues shift from the haves and have not to level of surface so the quality of the surface become an important factor for the consumers the global divide and the next billion users approximately 2 billion people worldwide have access to the web approximately 5 billion do not use the internet some companies use the catchphrase the next billion users to describe the people their programs address. Nonprofit organizations and huge computer companies are spreading computer access to people in developing countries. Moreover, bringing new technology to poor countries is not just a matter of money to buy equipment but the PCs and laptops must work in extreme environments last thing some people actively working to shrink the digital divide emphasize the need to provide access in ways appropriate to the local culture to sum up companies provide programs that create goodwill and large future computer base. This is if they succeed in improving the standard of living and economies of the target country. For instance, one laptop per child is a project that provided by a non-profit organization that supplies an inexpensive laptop computers, especially designed for elementary schools children in developing countries the laptop works in extreme heat or cold extremes of humidity and dusty or rainy environments the power requirements are very low the success of the program however depends upon the presence of supporting social and technical infrastructures such as electricity and technical support so 
by the end of this topic we reach to the end of this lecture and see you in the next lecture goodbye